What's up, YouTube? This is Mike with Thousand Reptiles. This is vlog 17. I'm showing you the parents of Clutch 18, which you'll see later in the vlog. We have a crystal female here, a banana clown here. As far as I know, normal crystal female. Crystals, by the way, are Mojave special, allelic animal. Uh, here's a banana clown. Again, as far as I know, normal banana clown, normal crystal female. Uh, after the unboxing, you'll see the results of this clutch. My, it was clutch 18, final clutch of the 2018 season. I asked her to pair for 2019. I just got an ovulation the other day. If you follow me on um, Instagram and Facebook, I posted a picture of the ovulation. It's a cool uh, double recessive project, which I don't want to say too much yet. Uh, but once I have some eggs, I might start talking a little bit more about it. Um, again, uh, comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. And... Uh, I'll, uh, you'll see stuff in a second. For live. I can cut this out, so. Alright, YouTube. So, I got an awesome day of unboxing. It was basically one of the last days of shipping season. And, uh, I got a bunch of snakes shipped in. Some of them were trades. Some of them were purchases. Uh, where to start? I'm gonna start here. Um, so this snake here came from Luis, uh, uh Luis Soto. Uh, I'm pretty sure his company name is Reptile Creations. I'll put as much information I have on everybody in the comments below. So this snake here, if it turns out to be the better of the two things it could be, it will be awesome down the line. This is a male. This is a male, either yellow belly or gravel pied. All right, this snake did have a highway pied sibling. Um, I, you know, this is my first time getting a pie that had either yellow belly or gravel in it. Hopefully it proves to be a gravel pie, but I'm happy either way. Awesome snake. Very nice looking. And that's a male, so that'll go into my yellow belly projects down the line. All right. The next snakes I got... They came from Carson Phelps. Again, I'll put all of his informa information in the comments below. Um, whether it's Facebook pages, YouTube, whatever it is. From Carson, I picked up two really cool snakes. If you watched my vlog last week, this snake will kind of go with that project. So check this out. So that's just a clown. All right, but it's a... Ooh, where's the camera? It's a scaleless head clown. All right. And it's a female scaleless head clown. So that'll be an awesome addition to my scaleless project. Like I said last week, guys, comment below. Let me know what male should I get. I now have a pastel scaleless head, a banana scaleless head, and a clown scaleless head. All females. I will need a male in about a year. Grandma, what male should I get? Me? Comment down below. Now, the other snake that I got Dad, from Carson. I'll show you later, Emma. The other snake that I got from Carson is also in my clown project. Uh, this is going to be down the line in my clown project, though. And again, I, I don't know how good my lighting is here. And I am filming with my phone, this part of the vlog. But this here is a spot nose clown male i have so many cool heck clowns uh that will be ready by next year and i got a bunch of visual stuff that's already ready so i don't even know where i'm going to put him into projects but i got so many cool things i can do with this uh put him in with you know ghi chocolates mahoganies leopard make my own batmans oh man the the it, it's endless what i can do with this snake of course he has a year to grow up but very, very happy with this guy. I love the reds that the spot nose clowns have. And I know the camera's probably not picking that up, but they have like this reddish on the sides. So, so cool. All right, the last unboxing I have here um, is from Mershon's Morse. All right. And uh, first off, I'll show off his shirt. Hook me up with a shirt. Mershon's Morse. All right. Uh, just show his card real quick too. Give him a little shout out, Mershon's Morse. He's on Instagram, I know, and uh, 
Morph Mark, I know that too. Uh, but again, I'll put all of his information as well in the comments below. Now, I got a little bit bigger girl in this one. So let's see. Now, again, if you were following my Justin Kabolka pickups, this girl will go good with that project in the future. But I have a 2017 pinstripe lavender albino female. She's in that 700 gram range already. All right, nice oranges on her. Again, they're cold. Uh, so they, you know, aren't as bright as they'll be when they warm up. But uh, I have that mahogany pied, 100% lavender albino male. Maybe that'll go to her in the future. I have another cool project that I might be getting eggs from soon, but I don't want to say too much about it. And if I get a male out of that, that could go to her. I do have a dream school male that could actually go to her as well in the future. So a lot of cool things for the lavender albino projects that this will fit right in with. So again, check the comments below. I'll put all the information I can get from all three of these breeders. If any of you guys are watching it, thank you. Uh, I do appreciate it. Very happy with these pickups. All right, you two. So this is clutch 18 for me. This is from a banana clown to a crystal female. Not really sure what I have here yet. People are telling me it doesn't look like normal banana Mojaves or banana specials. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, with a banana clown bred to a crystal so these should all be these should both be banana special 100% head clowns or banana mojave 100% head clowns now they have not shed out yet but i wanted to show off what came out of a clutch 18 that's the last clutch for 2018 all righty i'm gonna end this there Osmond reptiles out all right all right, guys, I'm going to end this week's vlog with the bad news. My Wilma eggs are not looking good. I think there's only, like, three eggs left in there that still look okay out of the eight. Not 100% sure what I did wrong, but you win some, you lose some. All right, Oz and Reptiles out.